Hi there, everybody. We are making salsa today with a little bit of a twist. We're joined by a familiar face. Chef Nicole is here to entice us with some fruit. Yeah, so everybody loves salsa and chips, right? Yeah, of course. So we're going to do a fun, kid-friendly version. And not that tomato salsa isn't, but it can get a little boring, right? So what we have is a, it's my favorite, favorite recipe and the Great New Hampshire Kids Can Cook um, cookbook that Chef Megan and I wrote. It's just fun, simple, everybody loves it. And wait till you, I start making it, the smell is just, it's, it's delicious. Okay. So we start with some nice, um, fresh cut pineapple. You can use canned if you want, you know, I know we're busy moms and dads, so what you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Sure. Um, but just some nice fresh uh, nice. pineapple, yeah. smells great already. Easy, simple, nice, some nice fresh blueberries. Again, you can use frozen if you want. It just creates more of like a, of a liquid salsa instead of a chunky. Some nice fresh strawberries here. And we'll talk about how to cut the strawberries with the kids at home as well um, in a moment. Some nice fresh lime. Again, what the lime does is it helps break down um, the structure of the pineapple, of the blueberries, of the strawberries, and just kind of gives it that nice juice um, when it sits for a little while. Cinnamon, one of my favorite ingredients. A, kids love it. Yep. It's really, really good for your body and it tastes delicious, so why not? Sure. Okay. I use plenty of that at my house. And then a little bit of agave nectar. You can sub this for, or sub maple syrup for this, or okay. honey if you have kind it, super sweetener. easy. Okay. Yeah. It's just, um, it, the, the theory is, is that it's more natural of a product, so it doesn't um, send your sugar through the roof. Got um, okay. So you'll see just nice kind of delicious, um, Mix that smell, all together. texture, yep, nice and fresh. It does smell good, okay. And so we serve this with um, cinnamon pita chips or we make a really cool parfait with it. This is great for kids even, even just walking to the bus stop, right? Um, in the morning, quick, easy meal. So we do a little bit of fresh fruit salsa, a little bit of your kids' favorite yogurt, and then some nice crunchy granola. So you got that protein, you that got the crunch, good. you got the fruits. Um, really cool. Okay. And um, so when I cut the strawberries at home with my kids, I just pinch it like this. We call these roly polies. We want to create <laughs> as many flat surfaces with kids and knives as possible, that right? Makes sense. Okay. And instead of just lobbing off the top, this is a little bit, this is a great way to um, create less waste. So when they're nice and flat, a little bit safer. Yeah. And what we do is we just cut the top off like that. And then you have a lot less waste as oh, opposed to doing okay. this guy right here. Saving more right? Than strawberry. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it. Exactly. And then you can just go ahead. I do a lot of pinch cutting with kids. Um, and then you can just go ahead and cut it like that and just add it to your salsa. So, of course, the kids nice love getting, getting involved and, of course, exactly. getting them in the meals they eat. Yeah. And that's the final product over there. Yes. And um, so those are just Stacy's cinnamon pita chips. You can serve them. You can make those at home with pita bread, a little mm -hmm. bit of butter, cinnamon sugar. Um, super easy recipe, really fun. The longer it sits, um, you know, over the next, over the night, um, it's really juicy, fun, nice. cool. Melt in there. Serve too. it on some ice cream if the kids are really good, oh, you know, or you're trying to, you know, buy yourself some time. If people so. want some more information about this, where um, should Chef they go? Nicole.com or t-bones.com. Um, Chef Megan and I come to schools. We do all types of fun things in the public. So shoot us an email and we'll see if we can plan something. Some good ideas to get the kids involved too. Chef Nicole, thank you very much. That does it for us. Thank you.